morning guys welcome back to the channel today I'm very excited as you guys know and as you guys see from the title picking up my 335 I hopefully hopefully nothing goes wrong so I'm gonna be going down to the bank I'm doing a wire transfer got to transfer the money over just thought I gotta get the invoice I gotta th thank God I just memorized that I gotta go get the invoice from upstairs um, the invoice they send you as soon as you win the auction you just gotta sign it off once you sign that off, you gotta go to the bank, do the transfer. Once you do the transfer, um, they're gonna give you a paper. Take a picture of the paper and the invoice, and then send them those two pictures on the email. They're gonna verify that you know you sent the, the money. They're gonna verify that you signed their terms of agreement on the invoice, and then they're just gonna go let you pick up the car. So we're gonna go pick up the car. Hopefully everything works out. Hopefully I can put some plates on and get it towed home. Not trying to drive it, but we'll see how it's gonna go, and uh, we'll see how easy it is to pick it up. All right, guys, got the invoice. We're going to head down to the bank. Right, so we are in the car right now. I just dropped off the cashier check. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and wait a little bit and wait for that confirmation email. And then I'm going to go ahead and go down to Copart. So what happens is when you purchase a vehicle, they're going to send you an invoice. You got to send. You got to sign the invoice. And once you sign the invoice, um, you're going to have to go down to the bank, either do a wire transfer or a cashier check. Cashier check, you don't have to pay any fees. It's like usually a $16 fee. Um, on their end that you have to pay and another $30 fee on my end that I have to pay It's like $46 in fees um, to do uh, a wire transfer. It does take about 24 hours Unlike a cashier check, um, there's like a $10 fee, but he waived it for me because I was buying a car He's being really nice. Um, I told him what car he knew what car he was a manager. There. He was just super chill So that worked out great a lot of people are looking at me right now Anyways, this is I'm just waiting at, at this point for their email just to confirm that they received my email because once you do all that you still got to send them a picture of uh, all the documents um, proving that you've sent the money. Uh, now I'm just waiting on a confirmation email so I can go pick up the car, what I need to do, what information I tell the people at the gates and uh, I'll go pick up the car. Okay, the car is the car. Awesome. And then I, who do I, do I just go pick it up or how does that work? I just tell them my name? You just tell them the bidder number and the lot number at the center. The better number and the lot number. Okay, awesome. All right, appreciate it, bro. No problem, sir. All right. All right, guys. That means we are good to go. We can go pick up the car and perfect spot to go merge in. So we'll see you guys when we get there. Oh, you make me want to talk back. So I just went ahead and told him that I don't want him to fork it out. I want him to drive it out since it's a running drive. I don't want to, it's already a BMW, we're going to have enough problems. So I don't want to fork it out and break some suspension parts. So if it's a running drive, I recommend you guys telling him to. You, they can drive it out for you. So we're going to go ahead and wait for them to bring out the car. Guys, I don't really know what to expect. This car is vandalized and you guys can't see much off a picture. So this thing can come out looking like a total loss. Then again, it has twelve thousand dollars in dents and scratches. So then again, paint jobs alone around like you know twenty grand. So like for not a twenty grand, something crazy for BMW. So I'm hoping it's not as bad as it looks. But we'll see. I told him to drive it out, which means it drives. I'm hoping. Come on, guys. Fingers crossed. I'm, I'm tripping. I'm tripping hard. It's for you guys. Right up, sir. Right over here. Right back. Yeah, over there. Say sorry. Oh, maybe I'll leave. Maybe, but you know I never will. No, so I choke you down just oh, like a like, 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 What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? They got babies. Right, 
you want it all. All right, guys. So we are back home. I got the car back home. Not my car. Not not the 335. The 330i. Um, so I'm just waiting. The tow guy says it's gonna be in a little bit. We did go down to the bank. We got the money that we need to pay him. Um, Honestly, an 80 mile tow for $120 is probably the cheapest tow you'll ever find in your entire life. I was gonna call AAA, but then when I saw the car, um, it is so badly vandalized that I don't think it's, it, it's common sense that it came from Copart, especially I'm gonna push it across the street. There's nothing in there. I thought there was like stores around. There's nothing there. So clearly it was from Copart. There was some cops driving in the area. It is not worth, you know, going through some serious shit. I wanna get home and see my car and see my baby. So 120 bucks. Not bad. Um, so now we're just waiting for him to get here. He said he was on 99 about 10 minutes ago, uh, which is you know, that far from my house. So we're gonna be waiting on him and we'll show you guys when the car gets here. I was stupid excited. I'm starting to think you stole my car. Guys, it took this dude an extra an hour 45 minutes to deliver my car. My car is not that fast to wait an hour 45 minutes and he didn't even deliver the other guy's car. So I'm, I'm literally just, I'm speechless to why it took him so long. Right there. Hella dirty. Needs a lot of work. Okay, boys, we're gonna go get it. Guys, so we are back home, and this is crazy. Okay, so this car is considered vandalized. So when I thought vandalized, I thought something like key marks, right? No. Guys, I need you, I need you to show them. What does this look like? There's a sun over here, right? Let's go ahead and peel that up. Would you look at that? All right, so let's cover that back up. Came right through here. Into the steering wheel, and there's something sticking out right there. I wonder what that look at. So long story short, guys, I think this car was shot up. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. With the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy, you know. 